Let's go, before we get to the treatment, how would you know for sure, I guess the bottom line question is, how is rheumatoid arthritis diagnosed? So, well, rheumatoid arthritis can be tricky to diagnose. There's a criteria that we go by as rheumatologists, which we call the American College, of Criter American College of Rheumatology and the European League Against Rheumatism criteria from 2010, which compromise multiple factors, including blood work, as well as clinical symptoms. And those depend on the number of joints involved, with what type of joints are involved, what kind of inflammation markers are elevated in the body, and what certain antibodies can be seen elevated inside of the blood. Something called a rheumatoid factor can be elevated, as well as a CCP antibody that can be also be elevated. So it's, it can be quite tricky sometimes. Some patients may have a positive rheumatoid testing in the blood, but they still do not have rheumatoid, while some other patients can have negative testing in the blood, but they still can have rheumatoid. And this is where it kind of gets tricky. And it's very important that we look into the sign and symptoms that people are actually expressing through their daily life and daily activities. And this is how you make that diagnosis eventually.